With all the twists and turns after Shetar quit the BJP, Congress has now reached out to him, understandably. Uh, MB Patil Siddharamaya, DK Shamnur, all in touch with Shetar. What we are getting to understand, MB Patil, uh, Siddharamaya, DK Sevakumar, all of them are in touch with Jagdish Shetar. Shetar has quit BJP after being denied a ticket for polls. Will he go to the Congress? That's the big question. Interesting developments taking place in the state of Karnataka. My colleague Anagha Kesav joins us from Bengaluru for more. Anagha, interesting developments. Will Shetar switch to the Congress or will go independent? You know, baby, Jagadish Shetar is to any party. Party he will indeed turn out to be a very big success. He was the chief minister, he was the leader of opposition and he was a speaker. And you know, given the fact that he's also a very strong Lingayat man, all the parties will now rally behind Jagdish Shetar to try to take uh, you know, Jagdish Shetar to their party. And now our faces are telling us that Shetar has received offers from the Congress party as well. And we're all waiting with bated breath to know if Shetar will indeed make the switch. because. Uh, you know, because yesterday when we were speaking to Shetar, he made it amply clear that he will contest in the electoral polls no matter what. If BJP does not give him a ticket, he will still go ahead and contest in the electoral polls by any route. And by that, he might either contest as an independent candidate or he might join another party. But yes, Jagdish Shetar does have offers on the table and it, and it is yet to be watched if Shetar will take in those offers. All right, Anagha, appreciate you joining us. So Jagdish Shetar has two options now in front of him. He's very clear, doesn't want to give the ticket to his own uh, family, wants to keep it for himself. But the BJP very clear that he needs to make way for younger, fresher blood. So two options lie in front of Jagdish Shetar. Number one, go as independent. Number two, join another political party. Will it be the Congress? The Congress, understandably, very keen that he switches over. Meanwhile, ahead of the high state Karnataka elections, Congress is in full election mode. Former Congress President Rahul Gandhi will be addressing a Jai Bharat rally in Kola, the same place where Rahul made the defamatory remarks against Prime Minister Modi, which led to his disqualification as an MP. The Congress is leaving no stone unturned to put forward a united front. Rahul Gandhi will be accompanied by top netas, including party chief Malikarjun Kharge, DK Sivakumar, and former chief minister Siddharamaya. Remember, Kolar is the same seat that Siddharamaya wished to contest, but the Congress high command denied him a ticket from his constituency.